photos show the damage inside a Raleigh apartment from a weekend shooting. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. A former NC State football player is charged in that Sunday night incident that sparked panic in downtown Raleigh. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live for us tonight with this new video and some new information about the investigation. Galat. Hakeem Jones has been charged with two counts each of two felonies in Sunday's shooting. Arrest records show he also lives here at the building. We now know the man officers carried down the stairs of the Gramercy Apartments and took into custody as former NC State football player Hakeem Jones. Jones played safety for the Wolfpack between 2012 and 2015. The 29-year-old is charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill and two counts of discharging a weapon into occupied property. My girlfriend and I were just making dinner and um, we heard it sounded like honestly probably like 15 gunshots go off. When Chris Ginelli stepped outside, he saw Raleigh police investigating a shooting at the apartment complex off Glenwood South. Officers searching the pool deck, standing on apartment balconies. It was pretty scary, you know, you definitely like to feel like you're safe. These new photos from someone who lives at the Gramercy show bullet holes in an apartment door and hallway of the building. The arrest warrant shows the assault victims are a man and a woman. It also says two people were inside a unit Jones is accused of firing into. Ben Payne was across the street when he heard the gunshots. Uh, it was just a little bit chaotic. Nobody really knew what was happening, whether or not we were in a dangerous, you know, position or, or if, you know, we needed to take shelter. He says the shooting at his apartment. I mean, it's definitely concerning. I mean, nothing like that has, has happened since I've been living here. A resident shared this email with me that the building sent out shortly after 730, saying that RPD requests everyone stay inside in their apartments until further notice. A spokesperson for the building says they sent out this email once Raleigh police told them to that day and that they take this matter extremely seriously and continue to communicate with residents. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamud, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you.